Well, BASF is releasing in the near future a new dicamba formulation that is very low in volatility. And it's called Ingenia. What we wanted to do uh, for producers and everyone else at the Commodity Classic was give you an insight into what we do in my laboratory and in many other laboratories at BASF in order to certify and to actually find this new uh, lower volatility dicamba. So one of the neat ways to do that, and this is actually very fun for us because it's, it's very good science and also very visual, is to use what we call a humidome. I'm sort of pointing over to it here. What we do is we spray petri dishes, uh -oh, spray petri dishes with a very high rate of each of these different dicamba formulations. We then take the dishes and place them inside to the humidome. Along with the dishes now, we put in either soybeans or tomato plants. Now soybeans and tomatoes just so happen to be the two of the most susceptible plant species to dicamba. We put them into the dome, it stays for 24 hours, it gets very hot in there, it can get up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, very high humidity. It's really a worst case scenario for what could happen in terms of a volatility event. So we take the plants out after 24 hours, we place them into our greenhouse and we monitor them for about three weeks. Now what we have here today is something to show you we have uh, five days after being exposed and 15 days after being exposed. We started out and we sort of wanted to give the approach of this is sort of the evolution of this molecule that's been around for quite some time and show what our new innovation can, uh, can really bring to the, to the table. So we start out with a dicamba acid, quite a bit of volatility, a lot of movement, keeping in mind that this is only uh, volatility. There's no droplets, there's no spray or anything else. Next we get to our Banville formulation, which is quite old. It's been around for a long time. It is an improvement in terms of the volatility from the dicamba acid, but it's still not where we'd like it to be. Now Clarity is one of the most recent formulation releases that we've had for dicamba, and you see much less injury on the Clarity, a far uh, improvement from Banville. But there's still a little bit going on there. You can see a little bit of the twisting epinasty that you see in the tomatoes, as well as uh, some of the pinching that will take place in the soybean leaves. Well, with our Ingenia formulation, being that it is such a low volatility product, it actually is difficult to see the difference between the Ingenia treated and the controls. I'll just kind of reinforce one more time that we put about four times the label rate into the dishes in our humidomes. We really want to push the system and ensure that whatever's going to be out there is going to be the highest quality in terms of uh, reduction volatility. It's a nice looking plant. It is nice. <laughs> and it looks virtually the same. So this is, it's actually very good science. We do lots of different little assays on the plants. But there's nothing better, you know, from my perspective, from the laboratory, to be able to take something very tactile and pick up a plant and look at it and see what we see and sort of let people know that, yeah, these are concerns and it certainly has been in the past, but we really believe this is going to be a great step forward. Okay. Well, now, what, what do we have over here? Well, what we have in this little pig dish <laughs> is 500,000 pigweed seeds. Now, unfortunately, uh, the way these amaranthus pigweeds are, uh, are designed, they produce a lot of seeds. This is the amount of seed that can come from one plant escape in your field. So we wanted to have that there to kind of reinforce that when we're dealing, in this case, this is a Palmer amaranth plant that's resistant to glyphosate. We have the Ingenia that we sprayed over top. We've maintained the high level of uh, efficacy. This is a half X rate from what will be on the, the field rate. So it doesn't control or hurt the grasses, but it is taking down that resistant Palmer amaranth. We go back to the glyphosate and it does a fantastic job on the grasses, but unfortunately, this is a resistant plant and it's not gonna control it. But when we put glyphosate and Ingenia together, we still get that great control of the broad leaves, and we haven't lost a thing with the grass control. So just another demonstration of, we know this is the thing nobody wants to have to deal with. It's kind of reinforcing that the efficacy is still there even though we've made a new innovation with, uh, with volatility.